Good morning. It's September 1st, and I just want to say that I'm blessed to be alive and to wake up today. Um, it's going to be a beautiful day. I wanted to just briefly discuss the, my dealings with HPD and um, the criminal justice system and me being a black woman. Um, one of the things that they've been able to exploit was the fact that I have a disability and I lived alone. Um, yesterday, I had confirmation that HPD uh, systemically decided to cover up the abuse that James did to me. The bruises the video evidence I submitted of him choking me from the back without my consent was evidence in a case that proves that he had been assaulting me. However, when I called a victim's compensation, that's a program that's, that's in place to help victims of domestic violence reclaim their life. So, I literally am borrowing money. I am literally don't have any of my own. I don't have a bank account because uh, they stole all of everything off of me. I'm afraid to open a new one because of uh, the continued uh, threat of them stealing out of that. So... Um, victim's compensation said that I was denied my claim because uh, there wasn't enough evidence to prove domestic violence. When in actuality, I've given them all the evidence. Videos, uh, pictures of bruises, messages, DMs of him being absolutely horrendous to me. So when I heard that it was denied, I knew that they just wanted to cover it up because I'm sep I'm in September 1st and I'm still dealing with the same issue. James is harassing me. James is stalking me. I can't get any peace. And the threat of them still continuing to steal off of me exists. So James and his crew got away with um, the abuse. Um... The officer, I remember asking him, I remember him asking me, do I have proof of the pregnancy during my interview? And I said, yes. And he wanted to see it. So I sent it to him. I thought that was pretty odd. But the more proof that I submitted, I noticed that they uh, went harder on trying to get rid of all of the evidence by stealing my external hard drive and my computer. But my ass, I still have what I need. I have the video. I have the pictures of the abuse. Um, it's even on my uh, Instagram. Um, the pictures of my abuse and just me talking a little bit more in detail about the case. So, yes, they did cover it up. But since I know that, I will be advocating for myself and I will be dedicating the rest of my life to expose these people who are complicit in my abuse and my assault and make sure they are held accountable for what they've done to me. One of the things that they used to say is that I had no self, low self-esteem and no confidence. <clears throat> and... Uh, they felt that since I was alone and by myself, that nobody would care enough to even bring it up or to to uh, bring light to my situation. But one thing that they don't know about me and that James didn't know about me is that I am a fighter. I am a fighter. I'm a survivor. I'm a thriver. I'm Alicia Denise Fenzant. I care about me. 
I care about me. I love me. So it doesn't matter who doesn't. Because I will be dedicating my life to make sure that I get justice for myself and to make sure that everybody who's involved will be brought to justice. And not only that, I'm dedicated to making sure that this doesn't happen again to anybody else. I will be dedicating my life to helping victims of domestic violence and fighting the system that continues to victimize victims of domestic violence. I am a black disabled woman and they felt that nobody would care that um, my life has been taken over for an entire year. You're wrong. They are wrong. I care. I care about my life. I care about the child's life that was lost at the hands of uh, James Patrick Ryan. So I'm committing my life to making sure that these people atone for what they've done to me.